Hey, good morning, Warriors. Sorry for the delayed video. It's Coach JV, your top health and mindset coach in the world, out here in Disney World. So I wanted to get you guys this quick video. There's a lot of things going on in the crypto space, Warriors. So I'm just going to jump right into it. Got to get the kids on a bus to the airport and head on back to get to that grind out there. Now, I'm really excited about the next six to seven months, Warriors. What I'm going to tell you guys is I believe in between April and 20th and April 30th, there's going to be some massive price appreciation. A couple things you want to look at is looking at XRP. It's at 70 cents today during an SEC lawsuit. Really think about that for just a moment. Ripple XRP is at 70 cents during an SEC lawsuit. An SEC lawsuit that people thought it was going to cripple it. So I remember a time, I want to go back just a moment. I remember a time when I was sitting in the hotel room. I was in quarantine, actually, during Christmas and New Year's away from my kids. And I got massive amounts of text messages of people jumping out of XRP when the SEC lawsuit hit. And I said, I said to them, it is a political theater. I've shared with you guys for over a year, over a year, the players in the game. We have um, Brian Brooks. Jay Clayton, all these players who move strategically throughout the marketplace to help move in crypto regulation. Brian Brooks specifically said in an interview he came here for a specific reason. He left the top, top legal counsel at Coinbase, become the head of the OCC to right before federally charter a cryptocurrency bank. Okay? Now look at what job he's doing. Do some fishing warriors. Remember, if you give a man or woman a fish, they'll eat for a day. Give him a fishing pole, they'll eat for a lifetime. If you look at Jay Clayton, right before he left the SEC, he threw out a SEC, or excuse me, a Ripple lawsuit. Now he's working for a cryptocurrency platform. Think about that. Think about this, warriors. So now we are having the SEC lawsuit going on right now. Ripple is only delisted in America, and the pressure's on for all these companies to re list XRP. Now I want you to think about something for just a moment. I am not an XRP maximalist. If you've looked at my portfolio, if you join my academy, I have a broad portfolio of NFTs, uh, DeFi, uh, a lot, lot of altcoins, and also I leverage trade a little bit of Bitcoin. Okay. For some reason, I'm not, I'm not big into Bitcoin. I'm really dollar cost averaging into uh, Ethereum. So that is my big uh, bet in regards to, as I like, like for example, as people are going into Bitcoin, I'm going into Ethereum. I, I'm bullish, bullish, bullish on Ethereum. But I want to talk today about NFTs, Warriors. NFTs. Now I want you to, I want to talk and share this with you guys. I just want to get this out to you guys really quickly. Number one, to get some information out to you guys. Number two, to let you know what I think is going to happen. So NFTs hit SNL. I'm, this may be old news to you guys, but I'm just, you saw the video clip. SNL, SNL talking about NFTs. They're actually throwing Janet Yellen in their skit, Eminem, Morpheus, and they're using things, you know how I am about the predictive programming, Morpheus, the red pill, blue pill. I want you to think about this, words. they're putting it right in front of your face. So as I get back, Warriors, you're going to have one to two YouTube videos a day, specifically throughout the week, two videos a day, just bringing you information. I believe within the next six to seven months, you're going to see price appreciation like you've never seen before. From April 20th to April 30th, just, there's some biblical things going on. Um, I'm, a, I'm a big follower of God. I follow the life of Jesus. Just biblically, there's a lot of stuff happening between April 20th and April 30th specifically. And then also too, just the way the market runs, Warriors. And then you're going to see some parabolic moves as we go into September, October. Now I want to share with you this is a long-term game. Those of you trying to get rich quick right now, you're going to make some money, but you got to know how to get out of the market. You got to have an exit strategy, Warriors, number one. Number two is you got to understand what you're getting into. Don't just invest in crypto because I told you to, or your cousin told you to, or your barber, barber told you, you have to have a game plan. Just like in Life Warriors, you always have to have a game plan. Okay, so as I come back, Warriors, we're going to start to talk more about the game plan. If you haven't checked it out, check out Thursday, Friday, and Saturday YouTube videos where I show you my exit strategy and what exactly what I'm doing. So I just want to bring this to you really quickly, guys. I'm traveling back. I won't have two YouTube videos today. Just I got the kids about a seven-hour travel time back, and we'll be ready to rock and roll as we go into Tuesday. But it's time. It's time, Warriors. This is your opportunity for the biggest shift in generational wealth, and I don't want you to miss it. So if you want to join our private Warrior Academy, click the link down below. Beloy. <laughs> you have access to my portfolio, a strict exit strategy, my ladder exit strategy, crypto discord with over 800 warriors, 120 day challenge because this isn't just about crypto warriors. This is the only program that has mindset, fitness, nutrition, everything. So you can completely change your life within the next 120 day warriors. So if you want to be part of the top warrior academy in the world, over a thousand warriors worldwide, you know, we always say warriors rise. Click the link down below and I'll see you on the other side. Let's go.